on the subject of jets. We are not looking at a plane, we're rather, rather looking at a car jet hybrid. And its name is appropriate. The Scramjet. It costs $3.8 million. It looks like a crazy 1950s concept car. It's got, it's got little fins in the back. It's ultra streamlined. And it's a nice open top convertible. All of things which are very, very good. So I decided to take a bit of a look at it. I was doing I was doing a little montage and it decided to decide to rain. Hang on, hang on, give me a second. G give, give me just a second here. It really is an incredible car to drive. The handling is ridiculously good and now that is fun to drive because it is rear wheel drive and it has 800 horsepower. 800! And uh, let's see how fast that 800 horsepower can uh, make this vehicle go. I'm expecting a lot considering the just pure aerodynamic ingenuity that went into making this car. So well, let's give it a bit of a gander, shall we? I like the sound of V8. Ready? Wait for it. Here we go. Not too much wheel spin, you're able to control it pretty easily. Pretty good traction off the line. And then you really pick up speed! Yes, there's 100, 120, 100, 100, come on! Oh, this is very fast! Even my GTA standards are notorious for having slow cars, but this is not. That was not slow at all. <laughs> that ridiculous. And there is another feature of this car. You see, the scramjet, those four buttons reply to the four boost knob activators, which basically allow you to do this. If I just click it, it will push hot air out, and push you to the back of your seat. Ugh. 160 miles an hour, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy crap. Ow. Oh, I think I got whiplash from that. Ow. That was ridiculous. <laughs> uh. Now, this vehicle is very fast, very fun to drive, and very powerful. But what's, the only thing more powerful than it is the sun. So, I'm gonna race it on the shortest day, which is now, 9 o'clock, to 5 p.m. from this area here, all the way to the observatory. And, yeah, we'll have to race the sun, so let's, let's get going. You don't wanna waste any time here. It is a bit over Siri when you uh, hit, hit a bump around a corner, but other than that, it is pretty solid. Check it around, there you go. I'm sure the authorities won't mind this. Sorry. I, 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 I have three boosts left. I used one of them for the test. I have three boosts left. I'm not going to refill them yet. I have, so I have to use them wisely. I have to use them very wisely. Whoa. Ah, that was a little close. Sorry about that. It's fine. Alright, this looks like a relatively straight road. It's gotta wait for the traffic so I don't die. Um, like, mm, uh, sort of set. Come on, I need to go, like, wait after this car, maybe. Maybe. No, there's another car. Damn it. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna keep going. Thankfully, there's no train. Oh, is that very bad? Let's go! Boost! 
Oh, <laughs> oh, not only is that helpful in the, in the race against the sun, it's very, very fast. And you know what? I think we have room for another one after this car. Gotta get the most out of it, you know? Ready? Brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. After this car. Brace it. Brace it. Go! Oh, <laughs> Holy crap. That just shatters your spine. Ow. <laughs> it's brutal. I love it. I got one more boost left. So I have to use it a little wisely. But now in the tight, twisty mountains, that's going to take us a very long time to get to these mountains. Yeah, I was... Sun is already setting, almost ran into a car, it's fine. Oh uh, no, I see the sun, it's setting faster, the shadows are getting bigger. That's not a good sign. Um, excuse me, cart, don't mind me, sorry about that, sorry. I do apologize. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, it took me quite a while to get through the mountains, but uh, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Just gotta twist your own mount to come. Come on, out of my way, out of my way, out of the way. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, I just need to make this. Where, where is my turn? Where is my turn? My turn. Oh! Um, that's that. Ah, that's not good. That was my turn. Okay. Um, what? Boost! We need to make up the time. We need to make up the time. Go, go. Through the tunnel. Through the tunnel. Up here. Oh, uh, the sun is starting to set. Oh, that's not good. Go, go. I see the moon. I still see light. Is it too late? I don't know. We'll have to see. Come on, I'm at the observatory. Go, go. Oh. Well, that's weird. The sun is set, but there's still light. I guess we call that a draw, because it still has light, but the sun is set. I think we're going to have to call that a draw. Ah, damn it. <sighs> that was close, though. So, I think what we have to turn here is, yes, it is very expensive at $3.8 million, but it's got enough boost to launch you to the stratosphere. It has the shape of a, st of a, of a 50s fighter jet, and it can go just about as fast as one. So it really is an incredible machine. But is it worth the price? Well, you can't race it, and you had to spend an extra million to upgrade it. So... I'm not sure about it. 